Hey everyone and welcome back to another No Man's Sky building guide. Today I'm going to focus on something that was requested in my Discord, was how to build a pillar out of the corner pieces. So I'm going to show you what technique I'm using. So let's go into my building menu and prepare all the parts we need because we're going to be doing the universal adjacency glitch for this. So I'm going to place the pillar cap. You can use this one, you can use whatever we have this one as well. And of course, we have the uh, wooden one as well, if you want to. But I'm just going to use these two for uh, this example. The next one we need is also the sloping stone wall. Doesn't matter. You can use any sloping wall, just the sloping wall. And then one more thing is the small stone panels like that. Like this. So just four next to each other. This is going to give us the chance to use this one and place it here and rotate it in what direction we want it. It also helps us remember in which direction we are pointing. All right, so we're going to be doing the universal adjacency glitch. The universal adjacency glitch is we're going to be storing a building part in our cache and then use another part to replace it with. For example, I want to use this one here. I just duplicate it so I have it in my hands. And now I just store it into my cache menu. For that, we're going to press toggle wiring and toggle edit build. That's the two buttons right there. Just press them together. And that's going to store the building part into your menu. So you can also can see on top of my shortcut menu there, I have place wire. That means I'm in the right menu right now. I did the glitch correctly. If it shows cycle part, then you are not in the right menu and you did a mistake. You also need to see this here. You need to have a blue light up building part as soon as you aim for it, because what we want to do, we want to duplicate this one right now. So now I have this one in hand with this here, this building part in my cache. So now I can snap this on the floor. And once I know where I want to be, let's and remember this, we are sloping to the left now. So just now, press the buttons for a wire glitch. So for that, we press toggle wire and build. And that is going to place that part now instead of this part here. Now we're going to do this again. Store this in our cache again. Take this one. And now we know that we were pointing to the left. So we can actually just let it snap what it is. It's pointing now away from us. So another glitch. That's one. I take it again. This one we already did, so let's rotate it in another way. As you can see, my rotation doesn't allow me to snap to it. I could try to rotate. Now it's pointing towards the left here, so let's just glitch it. So now we just need one more, which is pointing to here. If it doesn't rotate or snap rotate in that position, you can always move your camera and it might just snap into place for you. There we go. That's the one we need and just Glitch it as well. And here we go. All four of them at the same location, perfectly placed and merged together. So that's how you make your pillar. You can do the same with this one right here. And there we go. A very nice pillar as well, all snapped together in the same location. Now, if you want to go a little bit further with that, you can also do some fun stuff. What we're going to be doing, we're going to make a double pillar. So I'm going to just raise this by two floors. Then we're going to move this floor up here. Then delete these two. Now I'm going to flip this around. We're going to use for that the uh, universal adjacency glitch again. Now we're going to do some preparation. So we need a paver. We need a cube. And we need a pyramid. Take this cube. And we're going to store it into our cache. Then we take this paver, place the paver on the side here. Now wire glitch back to our build part. That's going to place the cube now instead of the paver. Now we're going to take the paver, store it into our cache again. Take this pyramid here and snap the pyramid on the bottom of this cube. And now simply do a wire glitch again. There we go. So now I have flipped my paver upside down. So if I now remove this floor, and place it back, you'll see my floor is now upside down. I'm gonna put this on the side, and then we're gonna take four of these small ones here, and we just snap them all together, like that. And now we can do the same glitch as we did again, but now upside down. So let's take this one, store it into our cache, take our sloped wall, 
snap it here. And we do the same. So now we had this one pointing to the left. So we need to make sure that we keep track of what directions we are glitching in. Now, if you're working upside down, you might have a lot of these issues where the snap point just doesn't allow to glitch it. So you might have to rotate your camera or you might have to delete some parts. Now we can delete our floors. And now we have a very nice looking pillar glitched on top of each other, which makes it a very cool uh, design to use. If you found this video helpful, please leave me a comment below and let me know what else I should be making videos about. As always, if anyone has any trouble using the techniques in these tutorials, or perhaps has questions on their mind when watching them, or perhaps other techniques, then just post them up here so that we can help each other out. As always, please like and share with your friends, because they might need some help too. Take care, until next time, this was Beelbum, goodbye for now.